Good morning friends. In today's session I am going to demonstrate about the redistribution effect on the segment routing. So if you see this topology upper part is with R1 and R2 router that is running the ISIS level 2 and SRGB is start with 100k r2 and r3 is running the ebgp label unicast and then r4 and r3 is running the ospf area 0 with the srgb start with 200k So let's check the ISIS agency. So R1 is having ISIS level 2 ISIS agency with R2. R2 is having ISIS agency with R1. R1 is having, sorry, R2 is having the EBGP label unicast with R3. R3 is having label unicast with R2 and OSPF with R4 and R4 is running OSPF and has neighborship with R3 and on R2 and R3 we are redistributing those prefixes between BGP to ISIS and on R3 between BGP to OSPF. So let's check the configuration quickly. Show run router BGP. So I am using this policy. Here I am redistributing the slash 32 from BGP to ISIS. and then slash 32 prefixes from bg uh, sorry in the earlier section i am redistributing the isis prefixes into bgp isis to bgp and here in this configuration router isis i am redistributing the bgp prefixes to level one using this policy so policy says that if destination is slash 32 then pass it if we check the R3, so BGP is redistributing the OSPF1 route policy OSPF to BGP. So it says that whatever routes matches slash 32 route matches in the OSPF, redistribute into the BGP. And if we check about the OSPF. It says that a router OSPF redistribute BGP 200 route policy BGP to OSPF. If destination is slash 32, then redistribute from BGP to OSPF. So let's see the routing table on R1. So we can see that we have the L2 prefixes for R2 and R3. and for r4 so we are learning all these prefixes so if we check the segment routing label table We can see that because SRGB he uh, on R1 and R2 is 100k, so hence you can see that for the R1 it is 100001 
for prefix R2 is 100002 and for R4 it is 100004. But strange thing is that we don't have segment label segment ID for prefix R3. If we check the LFIP table, so we have entry for all the prefixes excluding R3. So let's check on the R2. Yes, we are receiving both the prefixes from R3. And if we check the 4, we can see that 200004 label we received from R3, which we are going to use while forwarding traffic towards R3. And then label index value is 4. Let's check for the 3. Hmm. Because R3 is directly connected to R3, R2, so he is receiving the implicit null. But we don't have the label index value the same way which got for the R4. Let's see. So generally redistribution works in a different way that it picks the route from RIP table and then label from the L5 table. But as R3 it's local to this router means 3.3.3 .3 is the local to this router so we don't see that label value in the L5 table and while redistributing it is not advertising it to the R2 but if we see the for the R4 it is there and hence we can see the index seed label index value for the R4 so workaround is that to configure the route policy seed which I believe we have already configured yes so route policy seed and then seed label index whatever parameter we pass then we need to go to the bgp then configure it route policy and then we need to pass that index value this is the workaround for that and if we commit and then So we should see the label index value yes for 3. So this is the label index value which received from R3. And then same should be the propagated to the ISIS. Yes. Now we are able to see the 1003 for prefix R3 and 100044 for prefix R4. And if we do the trace route from here segment route SRMPLS yes so this is the label which R1 push for the prefix R4 and then once we reach to the R2 so he push implicit null for R3 and then label for R4 and R3 and R4 are directly connected, hence it is implicit null. So if you trace route, trace route for prefix 3, so we can see that R1 is using 1003 router and it's pushing towards the R2, and R2 is doing the implicit null, implicit null behavior. 
first implicit null is to reach R3 because if you remember so we need to configure this static route here for the slash 32 for the label unicast so this is the static route slash 32 to reach to the label unicast for the next stop so if we check the safe entry to reach 32 we should see the implicit twice implicit null because it is doing the recursive lookup to reach to this slash 32 that is via this prefixes hence we see the two implicit null here so from r1 to r4 it looks okay but let's check on the r4 so we should see the similar situation there so we got the r1 and r2 prefix but let's check the forwarding table the same status here so we see the uh, seed index value for r1 but we don't see for r2 then similar way we need to configure the network statement and then attach this route policy to the network statement configure router bgp100 address family ip4 unicast network 2.2.2 slash 32 route policy said 2 because r3 uh, uh, this 2.2.2.2 is local to the r2 hence while redistributing is advertising the prefix but it's not advertising the label index value so if you check check the show bgp ip4 so for if we check for one we got the label index value one but if we check the prefix two we don't have any label index value for that so if we configure this policy after that we should get the level index value clear bgp ip for level unicast star soft and we should see the yes we got the level index value 2 and same should be redistributed to the ospf yes we got the 2.0.0.0.2 for r2 if we do the trace route SRMPLS for the R1, we should be good. Yes, 2.0.0.0.1. Then R3 is pushing implicit null, and then second label is to reach R1, and then last stop it is implicit null. If we trace route SRMPLS for two prefix. we are good so if you check the database here let's check it for the r2 so this this is the prefix r4 where it's advertising the prefix seed index along with the setting the x bit that is for the external and this is the r3 with the seed value 3 by setting the flag external if we check the ospf database so we got the type 11 opaque link state lsa this is for the type 10 opaque link area sla is within area and as we are redistributing those prefixes from bgp lu to ospf so these are those prefixes so if you check the database opaque as advertised by three so we can see here the prefix one with the index value one and some flag it has said and then for two it has set the index value two and with some flags 
so this is how it works from the redistribution perspective thank you very much for watching it if you have any query or any comment on this session please type in below thank you very much